Hello, welcome to episode 186 of the Craft House Magic Podcast. My name's Ellie and I'm coming to you from Norwich in Norfolk in the UK and today is the 14th of October. So welcome everybody. I hope you've all had a lovely crafty week since the last time I've spoken to you and I'm here to share the things that I've been making in the last seven days. So today I have some knitting, I have a gadget, I have some cross stitch. Well, I haven't actually started it yet. I wanted to show you something new that I'll be starting this week. I have some confessions and it may be fabric, oh dear. <laughs> and some information on my shop at the end of the podcast. So you can skip along to any of those sections using the progress bar at the bottom of the screen if you want to skip a particular section or if you want to re-watch a particular section that you're interested in. And I'll pop the show notes in the description bar down below as well. So we still have the Craft 20 a Day make-along going on, both on Ravelry and on Instagram. And the details of the make-along are in the description bar down below in terms of hashtags and things. Um, but it's basically working on something a little bit each day, chipping away at those larger projects so that you get those bigger things finished. And I will be using my cross-stitch as the new Craft 20 a Day when I start it this weekend. So let's get on with the knitting shall we so i have a couple of things um that i did show you last week but they either weren't finished or there's been a duplicate made so first of all this is the little daily solo by lene home samze that adam's mum liz knitted in some gorgeous mr and mrs rabbit yarns last week so this is the one year size and there was quite a lot less there was 40 grams left of the ball so i thought that it'd be nice to have a smaller one as well so Liz took the yarn back and knitted the 0 to 3 months. So the bigger one was for one year and this one is a 0 to 3 months. And isn't that cute? So this actually, she'd run out of yarn before she got to the length that it said to make it. But actually, I really like the little cropped length. And it'd be really nice to have a long sleeve top under there and have it as a little cropped sort of over jumper, which would be really sweet. So the back of this top has got like a bigger opening so that you've got plenty of room there to get it over the baby's head you could i suppose put a little button on but i thought it might be a bit uncomfortable so i think it'll be fine as it is open like that but isn't that pattern absolutely gorgeous and this beautiful yarn from mr and mrs rabbit yarns so claire gifted this to me um, as a special present for me and my new baby and it is a, such an adorable mix of greens and blues and greys and it looks really beautiful. That's why I wanted to use every little scrap. And if you compare the two different sizes, um, you can see that that is quite a bit smaller. Um, so the one year old will obviously last a bit longer but I just thought it would be so adorable to have a little cropped version um, for the baby when it's not to three months. So thank you to Liz for knitting those for me and thank you so much to Claire for sending me the beautiful yarn. Thank you ever so much Claire and I'll leave a link to Claire's shop Mr and Mrs Rabbit Yarns um, in the description bar down below if you're interested in having a look at what yarns she's got on offer. She's got a really lovely collaboration with Davina from Little Workroom Crafts at the moment where they're doing a, a bag and a yarn set. I don't know if there's any left so do pop over and have a look if you're interested in Halloween sets. So I've also blocked out the little jumper I did start showing you, the cardigan I should say, last week, the antler cardigan. So Adam's mum knitted the majority of this, but I did put the button band on and block it, sew in the ends and add some buttons since the last episode. And you can see I've just cho chosen some sort of rather boring buttons really. Um, but I thought that they went well with the cardigan and I also just had them in my stash which is ideal because I've got quite a lot of them. buttons do not need to be buying anymore <laughs> you can see how much the cables and the shape of the cardigan has sort of relaxed now I've given it a nice block hopefully you'll be able to see those cables a lot better and you can see that I'm wearing my antler cardigan at the same time <laughs> <laughs> so we will be matching hopefully you'll be able to see that um but i thought that would be really sweet the yarn that i used for these two is some of my own hand dyed yarn 
Oh, we've blown out a bit there. I look really pale now. <laughs> but it's some of my own hand dyed yarn. And I used a base that was 100% superwash merino with a Donegal nep in there. And it just um, gives it a little bit of texture. And I had some left over, so I thought it would be ideal to make matching cardigans. I have to dye some more up and make Adam one to match. How good would that be? <laughs> So that actually the size that Liz knitted was the one year so I thought that it'd last a bit longer um, and be nice and thick. So the baby is due in November so I'm hoping that a year from now it'll be winter time and ideal for a really nice thick Aran weight cardigan. But it's a lovely pattern and easy to follow because I've obviously knitted it myself, knitted myself the full version. And it's really lovely and cosy and warm. I do think Adam is going to need one so that we all match. <laughs> that's another fully finished object that's now blocked and ready to wear. We're getting quite a little drawer full of the lovely hand knitted makes for the new baby. So I have my current work in progress that I cast on last Friday. And you can guess what it is. It is the new shawlography for the st the new Stephen West um, mystery knit along. So if you don't want to see what the mystery knit along is going to look like, the first clue anyway, skip along to the next section, which will be gadget. So I'm now going to show you the shawl. So this is how far I've got. I'm almost finished all the four sections of clue one which is lovely and I am loving the way these colours are working together. This section at the bottom here when that's blocked out just a little bit to open out you'll be able to see the colours in each of those a little bit better but it, at the moment it sort of scooches in and you've got all the colours striped between this the teal colour which is lovely and I have done this little section which is really pretty I love those slip stitches it actually is a little bit more complicated than it looks there are some increases and decreases there but these instructions are really easy to follow and it comes out really pretty so well worth it and I'm just on the last sort of section of clue one which is this bit here which are these little I cords which are so much fun so I've just got to do those all the way around the top um, and then I'm waiting for the next clue which is out on Friday but I am loving the way this looks it's a bit of a pain to sort of hold up for you at the moment to get the full extent of the way the colours are sort of laid out um, but I think with blocking that's going to look really lovely and it's going to be a lovely big squishy shawl Let's see if I can get that closer to the camera so that you can see those stripes a bit better. But I'm loving the way that the colours are working. And this is my own hand dyed yarn and it is actually in the same colourways as I've got in my fade to grey mini set. I do have a couple of mini sets in the shop at the moment but it's only the ones that I dyed up um, before I got this pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a few in there and I will be restocking the shop with yarn and things in January um, and I may have some kits for this if people are interested in buying the yarns as a set for this particular shawl but I love the way these colours work together and it's really nice because Stephen holds your hand in that uh, he says right for colour A which is this one that you start with here he said pick the colour that sort of pops out the most and that's definitely, that mustardy colour definitely pops out of the rest of the colourways that I've chosen. I will hold up the yarn, well at least I will try to, <laughs> that I've chosen. So you can see the colourways that I'm going to put together. So those are the colours that I've got for my um, shawlography and I'm excited to see how it turns out in the end. I love having mystery clues, it's so so much fun and I think if you really love the five colours that you've put together you're gonna love the end, the end product just because it's so much fun. I think in all the previous ones I've done I've loved it anyway so I'm really enjoying having a go at that and I'm actually I had trouble stopping doing these loops last night just because I was enjoying doing them so much um, but that's a very interesting and unusual texture that, um, and I'm wondering what the next section will be so that's really exciting 
so that's my knitting that I've been working on this week I have done a little bit of crochet in terms of my batting mode blanket but I haven't really done enough to show you so I will leave that till next week on my next section I have my gadget so I have one of the products that went up in last week's shop update and it's a little tube to keep your darning needles in and it comes with some darning needle needles in really useful sizes actually so this is made by Clover it has a screw top with a clear tube so you can see your needles inside the tube and then it comes with three needles um, I think they are sizes 13 17 and 20 so the biggest is a size 13 which is ideal for sort of Aran weight and DK yarn sewing your ends in and um, you have a size 17 17 or 18 size needles they're always my go-to for four ply yarn because the eye of the needle is not too big um, because you don't need a massive space for the four ply yarn but that's just enough which is lovely and then you've also got the size 20 as well which will be ideal for sort of lace weight yarn so you're covered there with the three needles and actually you could you could keep quite a lot of needles in here um, and it's much easier to carry them around in a little tube so that they're not getting lost in a sort of notions tin or notions pouch or anything so that's definitely one of my go-to's I have I did have another little tube that um, from a different manufacturer before um, that I have in a couple of my knitting bags but I think that this is really nice um, because it's transparent as well which is lovely so that is the gadget for this week and I'll leave a link in the description bar down below to where you can pick these up from my shop so the next section is cross stitch and I thought I'd show you what cross stitch I'm going to start next so I haven't had any cross stitch on the go for ages and I feel like I need it <laughs> I've been really really busy doing advents and putting those together and making sure they're shipped out well in time for before I start having even an inkling of getting close enough to, to give birth so I've wanted to get those out of the way so I've been working really hard at weekends and getting that done so that I can now have my little bit of sort of 20-30 minutes in the morning having a bit of cross stitch which is exciting and I found this in my stash and I picked this up from the quilt show a couple of years ago might be three might, might be three four years ago now because of lockdown and everything but this was from the the cross stitch guild and it was a little set to do a little sampler there which I thought was really cute um, I'm not sure how big it's supposed to turn out it's only 4.25 by 5 inches finished so that'll be a nice little small piece and who knows I might get it done in a week or two we shall see but I just thought that that was really nice hopefully you can see it reasonably well in the packet it looks like there's a website on the bottom of the page there that you can go and have a look at I'm not sure if they do sell these patterns on the website but i did get it from the guild and it's got all the stuff that you need in there the threads um and it looks like ada um so that'll be a nice fun little cross stitch to do it's always nice to do small pieces because they get finished so quickly so that's what i'm going to start this weekend and now i have some confessions okay I really don't need any more fabric but I've got an excuse I've got a baby on the way so I needed some <laughs> a lovely lady messaged me to say that Dalston is it Dalston yes Dalston fabrics um, is a shop that she uses for lots of cotton jerseys and she said go and have a look there they've got lovely prints and I had to buy one <laughs> so this is the space robots cotton jersey from Dalston fabrics and I just thought that that was really sweet Adam is very into sort of space and robots as well so I thought that would be lovely for our son to wear and I just picked up half a meter I have washed it so it's curled up quite a bit um, but I thought that, that would be nice to be, to make a few things for the baby I haven't quite decided what I'll make with it yet but we shall see so that's one thing I bought bought I will leave a link um, to where I got the fabrics from in the description bar down below if you want to grab some too so last thing on my make nine list is the lola coat by sew over it and i thought well 
I want to make like a casual version that is perhaps like a coatigan, so halfway between a cardigan and a coat. So I wanted to have like a jersey fabric to make this coat out of, even though the pattern actually says it, that it's supposed to be made out of woven. I thought, well, if I use a relatively stable knit, it'll be fine, hopefully. <laughs> Plus, because it needed so much fabric, I think it was four, four and a half metres, um, I needed to get a, quite an inexpensive fabric to at least try my first one out to see if I got on with the pattern. So I went onto the Rainbow Fabrics website again and I found this grey cotton loop back jersey and I've got four metres of this and it's rather wide as well. And I thought that that would be nice to make this cut this coat out of so it's sort of like a cardigan as well maybe line it in some places to try and make it warmer it's like a gray it's not quite a solid gray on the outside but on the inside you can see that there's a loop back as well you can see the loop back texture so i will try and line that in some places but it was really inexpensive it was something like 6.99 but it's a very wide fabric as so i needed sort of four meters and if I like the way the sort of style of the coat looks on me I can make another one but I just thought that, that was ideal it seems like quite a reasonable quality as well the only trouble with rainbow fabrics is they do take a while to ship it does say on their website that they take sort of five to ten days so I ordered this on a Sunday and it took until not the following Thursday but the Thursday after to arrive so it did take quite a few days um, but it, they do pre-warn you and it is very inexpensive so I, I really don't mind that so there we go so that is my naughty confessions <laughs> and I just have my shop update at the end of the podcast so I just wanted to say all of the Starlight Wishes advents and sock sets and bags and things have been shipped so that's really good I feel like I've sort of got a weight lifted off my shoulders I'm so <laughs> I was getting a bit worried that it was getting a bit close to my due date but it's fine they've all been shipped so everything will arrive in time for advent so which is brilliant i also wanted to say that i have now stocked my shop with the 500 ml bottles of eucalan that are the lavender scent because it is so popular in the smaller bottles that i sell in the shop already and so i'm just doing the 500 ml in the that particular lavender scent just because it sells so well otherwise i won't have the storage to do all the scents but i do the 100 ml bottles in all of the other four scents and the smaller sample sizes as well but lavender goes up to 500 mil so those are in the shop now and I think that's about it for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I shall see you in the next episode bye